Hello everybody and welcome back to another Ethan Journal video. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at a really cool program that I found over on GitHub called Diffusion B. Now AI image generation is a really big thing nowadays. Um, you, there's services like Crayon and, and what's the other one? There's OpenAI has their Dolly 2 version thing out. And then there's also Mid Journey on Discord, which I was a paying subscriber for for two months. So I put 20 bucks into their service because I thought it was a pretty cool idea. And I got some really, really amazing uh, images out of that. And I got really good at doing that. But it kind of occurred to me, $10 a month is a lot of money to be spending on an AI image generation software. So I figured, is there a way that I can do basically what Mid Journey and all those other services do, but do it on my own computer and don't have to pay a monthly fee for it? And in my research, I was able to find out about a service called Diffusion B. Now, this is a GitHub project created by a group of people, as far as I know. And basically what they've done is they've created the same text prompt to image generation, but it's fully optimized and made specifically for M1 and M2 Macs, which means essentially if you have an M1 computer, like I have an M1 Mac mini, um, this is going to work perfectly on those devices. So without further ado, let's head over to the Diffusion B software. So here we are in Diffusion B, and as you can see, it's really simple. And all you get here is an enter your prompt here, um, and then you have your advanced options. You can choose like what you want your image uh, resolution to be, how many steps you want it to take, uh, your guidance scale, which I'm still trying to figure out what all this stuff means. But then you also down here, Stable Fusion, Stable Diffusion. Um, requires a lot of RAM. 16 gigabytes is recommended. So good thing I have a lot of RAM on my Mac Mini. So let's head in over here into the Diffusion B and let's enter in a prompt. So let's see, I'm gonna do a cabin on an island in the middle of a lake during night. Grammarly is probably going to correct me on this, but that's good because I want to make it look good. And um, probably during the night. So a cabin on an island in the middle of a lake during the night. Let's click generate. And this does take a while. Even though I have an M1 Mac Mini with 16 gigs of RAM, it does take a lot of performance. And I don't even know if this recording is going to do well. So goodbye. All right, so I am not able to record. I just realized this, and I probably should have thought about this earlier, but I'm unable to record uh, while this is doing it because as you can see from the screenshot on screen, this thing pretty much uses all the resources that my computer has to handle. Even though it's the maxed out uh, M1 Mac Mini, it doesn't go any better than what we got. So you can see we get a little bit of a preview of what the image looks like, and wow, that turned out really well. So at uh, 512 pixels by 512 pixels, it's not the highest resolution, but it turned out really nice. A cabin, a cabin on an island in the middle of a lake during the night. That looks really good. Now you can really, you can tell that there's artifacting and certain things that make it look like it was AI generated, but truly that looks really good. So I'm gonna quickly save the image here and I'm gonna save it as cabin in lake. Um, for two pixels. And I'm, uh, at the end of this video, guys, I will be uploading all of these images to my website at Ryman Labs. I'll have that link down in the description so you guys can check out these images and check it out for yourself. Now, I am hopefully in the future going to be trying to either take this engine or find a different engine and try to host it on my own server. Um, or even getting mid journey on a Discord server of my own and trying to figure out a way that I can get you guys like free access to one of these things. Um, but that's going to be far in the future because, again, I'm not monetized on YouTube and I can't really afford to do that at this time. So sometime in the future, I'm really looking forward to taking another one of these AI image generation things. And if you guys don't have a Mac, but I somehow figure out a way, like maybe I go to Mac Stadium and I buy a monthly plan someday. And I get this software to run on a Mac and I can figure out a way to embed it into a website um, and figure out a way for you guys to get images. I think that'd be pretty cool. So that's something for the future. Um, if you really if you want to see that come to life, uh, be sure to subscribe and like, and also support me on Patreon, which is also linked down in the description. So let's head back over here and let's try creating another image. So let's think. Um, let's see. I'm gonna do. Uh, hmm. What's a good idea? Like. I, I, I always have like these really cool ideas. Like I'm gonna do here, I'm here, I'm gonna do this. A tiny cabin home 
in um, in the middle of a forest during the night. No, I'll do during the day for this one. See if we can get a bit of a variety on this. During the day. Um, and uh, that did not work out. See, I love ground really, and I love texture generation, but um, sometimes it does glitch out, as you see there. Um, so a tiny cabin home in the middle of a forest during the day um, with a with a with solar panels on the roof. All right, let's try this. And I'm gonna, again, I'm going to need to stop my recording this time because this text generation software does not like other programs running at the time it's running. It takes pretty much everything my computer has. So see you guys on the other side. All right, it's been two minutes and probably three minutes at this point. I don't know. So this, the image generation is done. And I'm warning you, it does not look as good as our first one did. Ta-da! Look at this amazing image. Great job. Great job. So, I mean, the bottom one here, I don't, this is two, this is one image, but clearly it thought it needed to generate two. Tiny cabin in the middle of a forest during the day with solar panels on the roof. Yeah, that's weird, because it generated two images, but it's still one image. I don't know what happened. Um, this is weird, but ta-da, we have a, a tiny house in the middle of a forest with solar panels on the roof. I mean, the trees look amazing. Like, it looks realistic. Um, but the house itself does not look like I was planning for. Again, it could be just because it didn't involve, maybe I didn't put enough detail into it. I don't know. But, um, let's try another prompt. I, I will save this one here quick. So, let's save this. I'm going to call it a uh, tiny forest home save that quick and now we can go in here and generate something new now i probably could start increasing a few of these other things but truthfully i don't know if that's going to cause more performance issues maybe i'll just upscale it just a little bit like i'll go 640 by 640. now we have a little bit higher resolution maybe it's going to take a little bit longer what's the max we can do 768 by 768 will be the max that we can do but let's not let's not go that far yet so let's go here let's see um think what's another thing we could do um hmm. let's see i'm going to design a future istic city that did not look good future come on ethan spell Futuristic city with all with uh, from a see how do I wear this because I want it what my 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 idea for this one is I want to do like a futuristic city but looking down at it so like from like a satellite point of view could I do like futuristic city from a satellite point of view. Let's do that. Uh, I'm gonna stick this in there for just a bit. From a satellite point of view, um, lots of buildings and a solar farm in the distance. I'm gonna try this. I bet it's just gonna be a full blown monstrosity, but who knows this is the most one of the more complex versions of this that i've done so let's click generate and figure out if this is going to work i'll see you guys on the other side okay everybody it has been let's see probably about an hour and a half since i left that to go on its way and i think we ran into a problem so because we upscaled the resolution on that version which i was hoping it would do fine with it really did not do fine with upscaling the resolution it essentially took an hour and a half and then the app crashed. So I tried booting it up again. I tried putting the same prompt in and trying it again, but it still failed. And I really don't think we're ever gonna get a higher resolution than that. That could just be because I have an M1 and I'm not planning on upgrading anytime soon, but my dad's work does give him a MacBook Pro with an M1 Pro processor. So in the future, maybe I'll try it on that laptop and see if it does anything better. 
But I think that's where I'm going to wrap it up for this video. Um, I will be getting those images uploaded to my website soon. Um, but stay tuned in the description or I might even put it in the comments um, later on once they get those uploaded. But thank you guys all for watching. Uh, have a great rest of your day. Be sure to like and subscribe. And see y'all next time. Bye-bye.